Hello everyone, welcome, welcome back to Miles Music Media. Jim here. So today it's all about exporting PDF and MP3s. I am using the most recent MuseScore as of March 2021. So, exporting scores and parts via PDFs and MP3s can be easy, but at the same time can add a bit of difficulty if you're a new user. So at the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding and receive tips on how to organize your files and also understand the exporting process as well as make better choices for your needs. Let's go. Okay, it is time to get our PDFs to the rehearsal. We're gonna send them emails so all the members perfectly practice their part. <laughs> all right, so the first thing we wanna do is we have to select parts in order to send PDF parts. I'm saying parts a lot. So you can click on all parts, click okay. One common mistake is people will just go to, users will go to file, export, and then when they click on that they only see score so you have to get the parts laid out first all right after that I'm gonna uncheck I'm gonna go ahead and just check these so we have an mp3 file but we want to switch that to PDF so 360 is great that is dots per inch that is uh, a really high resolution that should be more than fine uh, the lower the resolution lower the quality but even 300 is great now I'm gonna export it as separate files to musicians because I'm going to be emailing or posting on Google Classroom, what have you. This is a cool feature. If you need to, this will merge everything. So maybe you have a bunch of percussion parts and you want to merge those parts. That's really useful. Or you have another leader in the ensemble and they want to get all the parts or hopefully you're selling some music and you're going to be merging your parts and your score. Awesome. You don't have to use a third party software. So after we export, we're going to have to save it. For me, what I do is I put PDF parts first, and then I click save. This is just an example. So just keep in mind, you can go ahead and tell MuseScore where you want your files. Generally, if you're on a PC, it's documents to MuseScore, and then I have it under scores. You can go ahead and rename it to the instrument name first, and then the title. That can help out if you're sending out a lot of PDFs to users so they can find their part quickly. Let's jump to MP3 land. MP3 is very similar in regards to exporting and with parts. So we have parts already set up. So we're going to go down to file, click on export, go to MP3. After MP3, we're going to select the instruments that we want to export. We're going to keep sample rate the same. If you're working with a video person, it might be um, another 48. It could be that sample rate. Bit rate, this is CD quality. That's great, but it's kind of heavy. So you might want to consider low, lowering the bit rate. I'm going to keep it there. Now when we export, same thing, we have to save it. I would put MP3 first and then parts and then the score for organizational reasons. After I click save, we're going to export. You're going to see a black box show up soon and that is the file rendering. There it is. So don't panic. It needs to render. I don't know how long your piece is. Every piece of music is different, so it can take some time. You might want to grab some coffee. After it's done, you go back to your document folder. They're starting to pop up here. If they're not there yet, it's still rendering. Keep that in mind. If you find value out of this content of this video and my other videos, please consider subscribing, leave a comment, like. It's really important. Newer content creators are gonna be getting ads placed to their channels and we will not be getting monetized for that. And we won't be able to control the commercial. So keep that in mind for newer content creators. Um, I'm really excited to see so many people watching my videos now. That's wonderful. And most importantly, I wish everyone well and happy music making. Bye for now.